Hello, uh, this is Larry again with Rapid Set Buildings, and we are going to design a uh, aircraft hangar, um, or in some cases it could be uh, you know cover for your combine um, today. And so, if you go to RapidSetBuildings.com, go all the way down to the bottom, and click this PWS, which stands for Pricing Web System. And I'm already logged in, uh, so you can try it out anonymously or create an account. But let's go ahead and get a building a quote, and you can see in this case I'm in English measurements and simple features which is what I want so let's call this one hanger oops if I spell it right um, then let's put in a simple zip code uh, or you could export or uh, ship to Alaska and uh, actually export and Alaska only goes to the port uh, but anyway uh, you got a few options. You got uh, standard building, uh, you know, add a column to the frame, uh, single slope, unsymmetrical, and here we have hangers. Um, this is a bifold style hanger uh, in the left end wall, and this is a hydraulic style hanger in the left end wall, and these are fly throughs where it has a door on both sides. But I think I want to make a bifold, and I need to say here that uh, the data in our systems for weights and flange thickness and all kinds of fun stuff was supplied by Swice Door at Bifold.com. Uh, but let's go ahead and uh, do a Bifold Door in the left end wall. So let's do a uh, 60 by, uh, let's make it a little odd, 62. Uh, let's go by 17. And typically hangers are always 1 and 12 because you don't want to get too much slope there. And now now that I have these values in here, it's going ahead and it's going to give me the available door sizes that fit in that particular uh, shape of building and then the same with the height including so it goes uh, net clear which would be this amount plus wedge plus trim is going to give me um, it's already figuring that out for you by the size of building you chose so if if your door size isn't showing up then make your building a little larger to accommodate the door size uh, so let's go next and this will bring up the loads and codes page, uh, which is something that's so critical. You need to confirm the loads and codes of where your building is being uh, built. Um, so in this case, we're in uh, Smith County, Texas, and uh, 3.5 um, snow, uh, IBC 06. Um, might want to change that. So you just go edit value right there. And let's go IBC 09. Uh, make sure that you got enough for roof collateral if you put lights or air conditioning or fire sprinklers especially. Um, exposure, um, and if you need calculations, they're right there. So you have to agree and accept and go next step. And then this will give the layout which we think is the most optimum for those loads and codes. So obviously it has a hanger door in it. So let's go ahead and throw in a framed opening. Uh, let's say a... Uh, Let's go 10 by 14 for like an RV, and let's put it over to the right um, on the far back of the hangar. And let's go ahead and click next step. And I pause the video at this point and then turn it back on. And once this continue button uh, comes on, you're you're good to go. But it takes a full minute or so to grind the design. Um, so let's go ahead and throw in a walk door. Uh, and if you want roof color. It'll tell you how much for this particular building right here. If you just click this, it will give you roof color. And let's say you want a little bit of insulation. We'll throw some uh, insulation in. Uh, we got a walk door in there. So you have a, a few options uh, to choose from there. And then now it's going to bring up the plan. And this is the actual hangar that we designed with the RV opening here and the door size that's uh, uh, appropriate for your... Um, that bifold and there's the left end wall and you can see what the framing and the sheeting is like in the uh, the front side wall with the framed opening in it and let's go ahead and click oh by the way you can download the plans right here uh, click next and this is the price so we have a 54 by 13 bifold style and this is for the building uh, with stamp plans delivered to that zip code. And then this is all the uh, accessories we chose, um, which would give you a total price of that. Uh, and this would be the deposit amount. 
and this is the rest of the quote. And so you got a few different options. You could either email the quote to yourself, or you could print the quote and uh, and purchase the building, and that'll do it. And by the way, uh, let's say the 54 by 13 door does not come with the building, uh, but if you go to buyfold.com, uh, they'll be happy to price one for you. Uh, thanks. This is Larry with Rapid Set Buildings, and uh, see you next time.